have any magical superpowers. I don't, I can't see into the future. I have no special forces or anything like that. But what I do know, um, with a pretty strong sense of surety, is that you guys are going to hear lots of stories over the next few days. And it will be stories of amazing successes. It will be stories of perseverance, of great talent, of great inspiration, of great challenge. And each of those will be a completely unique, unlike any other story that is its own special facet of the human experience. But what I also know really well, also without having any magical superpowers, is that all of these stories will essentially be the same in one critically important respect, and that is the very first word that's hovering over my head there, and that's passion. And that is the wild-eyed, hair-raising, knee-knocking, heart-pounding passion that everybody who's successful has for the work that they do. And I know this is true because I know that whether doors open for you or you've had to fight for every single thing that you've got, whether you're incredibly talented or you think you're just an average person, whether people clap whenever you open your mouth or people mostly laugh whenever you open your mouth, you can't do anything without passion. And I know this to be the case because of my own story. I'm a geophysicist by training and by trade. And I specialize in the tectonics of continents and mountain buildings and, and where mountains come from. But what that means in reality is pretty much that I spend a lot of time with a pencil and a blank piece of paper and I write on the paper and then I get pissed and I crumble it up and throw it away. And then I do that again, and then I do it like a thousand more times. And when I get sick of that, I take all my colorful markers and I draw on the whiteboard and draw diagrams of forces on continents and how they balance. And that doesn't work either, and I mostly erase it. And I try again, and I do that and again. And when I get too frustrated with that, I work on the computer for a long, 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 long time, typing stuff and doing mathematical models. And mostly that doesn't really work either. And when I get frustrated with that, that is all sort of broken up by going to really weird places where, for the most part, bugs bite me, furry animals bite me, reptiles bite me, I get sunburned, I get really, really cold, little bits of my toes fall off sometimes, I get shot at, people try to steal my money, I drink a lot of tea, I eat gross things and then throw them up as fast as possible. If I don't throw them up as fast as possible, it's actually worse, because really bad things happen after that. But I wouldn't trade even a nanosecond of any of this to do any other thing in the world. And that's because I have passion and I have inspiration. There's a villager from a village in the Hindu Kush of central Afghanistan which, weirdly enough, I was in on Monday, so this is a very abrupt transition for me. Um, but underneath that burqa is a person who knows nothing about science. She can't read, so she doesn't know anything about economics, about art history, literary criticism, economics, political philosophy. She doesn't know all that much about those fancy things. But ignorance does not give you immunity from those things. So even though she doesn't know anything about the history of the Silk Road, that history governs what she wears when she wakes up in the morning or she goes to the bazaar. Even though she doesn't know anything about economics, that economics determines where the flour for her afternoon bread comes from. And even though she doesn't know anything whatsoever about geophysics, the motion of the continents of the Earth govern the reality that her village will one day fall down in an earthquake. And for me, overcoming that ignorance, whether that person ever knows that I work to do so or not, um, is of critical importance and gives me the passion and the drive to scratch away all those bug bites and figure out how I'm going to get my next meal um, or pray that I don't, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so for me, 
taking an idea from the theoretical blackboard all the way through to a field experiment where I actually do measurements, and then taking that experimental result and using that information to develop a detailed set of results that inform the future livelihood of that person and the future well-being of her family. And then further transferring that information from the scientific realm to the realm of the local community. And in this case specifically, I'm working with a set of microfinance organizations so that when that woman's son takes out a little teeny loan to add a new room to their home compound so that his wife and newborn child have a place to live, the microfinancers will give that boy a little bit of extra money so that he can contract with a mason who will use hemp string in their adobe and will use fencing wire to tie the floor joists to the wall members in their new compound. And so when that earthquake eventually comes, that family will have 20 seconds to get out of their adobe house rather than three seconds to get out of their adobe house. And that means that those people will be alive and not dead after that earthquake happens. That's what gives me my personal passion. And to me, that's worth all the misery in the world, either at the computer or getting electrocuted by rewiring my Jeep's starting motor, as I did two weeks ago, which actually kind of hurt. <laughs> so for me, that's a source of my passion and my inspiration. And going back to the initial theme of this conference and the word that hovers so enticingly over my head, it doesn't matter what you do. What you should do, and the only piece of advice I have for anyone really ever, is do what you love. Do it because you love it. Who cares if nobody thinks it's cool? Even maybe especially if nobody thinks it's cool, do it. And do it like crazy. Do it with your guts out and your hair on fire. Grab life by the balls. Go for it, go huge, put all your chips in. And if you do that, you have success. And it doesn't matter if anybody knows what you did or everybody knows what you did. If you live life with that amount of passion, you really can't go wrong. So go out and have a great weekend and grab it all and do it big. Yeah.